Hello all you handsome and beautiful people out there. Welcome back to the channel. Today you clicked on this video to help better effectively recruit for your guild on World of Warcraft. Hey, or any game in general. So <clears throat> there's some tips and tricks I want to discuss today that's going to help you better effectively find the correct right people for whatever guild that you're in and you're trying to maybe specify on whether you want to raid in this guild or you want to PvP in this guild or whatever you want to do you want to try to recruit the correct people in order to make your guild great so let's get one thing out of the way recruitment and re recruiting in general it sucks it really does wouldn't it be great if we just recruited the same or didn't have to recruit at all we just went with the same guys and gals we've been from from raid to raid or content patch to content patch and never had to worry about recruitment at all but that doesn't happen right we have to recruit almost every single patch every single expansion it doesn't matter because why people leave right or they just go poof they disappear where did they go no MIA no nothing you know maybe they got divorced something happened in their family and last, of course, you know, the most unfortunate uh, strain of event would happen is if they passed away. And that would really suck. But we just don't know. And some some of these guys we raided with, like, for months and months, and then they're just, poof, they're gone. And unfortunately, we have to replace them. We have to move on. We have to carry on in order to keep our guilds running at an optimal level. So, and it's always tough. Uh, new people, it, you know, it... it with a job or anything like that same thing with online communities and guilds you have new people that man we don't know if they're gonna mesh with our guild we're gonna they're they bring new personalities and it could be a great thing but also can be a very bad thing and so this is what this video is gonna be about how to spot those those green flags and red flags when you're dealing with recruiting people so let's get right into it what's the best ways to get the right people for your guild and the most important thing is to have questions ready to ask. You know, now we have, um, and while we have the Guild Finder, I'm going to bring up the Guild Finder real quick for um, everybody. So, and this is a, it's not a brand new feature, but it is a newer feature for this expansion. So there's communities, you can find a community, join a creative community, but we're, we're looking at the Guild Finder here. So there is a guild finder where people can search up your guild and things like that, and you can establish requirements and whatnot. So that's a very useful function. So you guys need to take full advantage of what Blizzard provided you for the guild finder. It does help. So, and here's the recruitment here. If you're a leader, if you're the guild master or an officer, or even if you're just a designated guild recruiter, you can go into this and list what your focus is raids as we have it we're looking for multiple classes and roles uh, and then our description here max level at 120 as of this video and minimum item level is 455 for this guild because we're trying to do heroic and mythic content so that's what we, uh, that's the people we want to attract is those eye level um, requirements so we do since since uh Lo so I'm on Loki on Darkspear. Um we do have those requirements because we you know we're trying to get push into mythic as of uh March 15th 2020. So and that is our current situation with what I'm trying to do and this is how I do it. I try to recruit people who are going to reflect those requirements. And how I do it is I do use the Guild Finder, but I also, unfortunately, I don't like to do this very much, but I do have a macro, and we go into macros, and I have a general uh, chat macro that I use, and these are right here, the recruit macro and the trade macro. So then I have um, actually linked the... I'll show you. Well, let me see, let's see here. One second. I'll put. We'll do the trade one. So I have a general and trade one. Trade one I use like stuff in Stormwind. Now I don't spam it. I'm not. I am totally not a believer in spam. Okay. 
I'll post this like once every like 20, 30 minutes, you know, not to get too spammy. So let me, I'll post it right now so you guys can see. So the macro is automatically in trade chat so everybody can see it throughout the whole cities. So you're advertising for your guild. So I actually put a macro, uh, a link in there where all they have to do is press it and they're automatically, it automatically brings up the um, application to to apply for Loki. So that's pretty nifty. And there's a, unfortunately there's a, there, um, you used to be able to link it in your macro, no problem, but you actually have to run a script now. I will show you guys that in a separate video if the if you guys request that. Uh, I will show you how to put that yellow link in your macro so people can have full access and go apply right away. So, so basically I put, you know, who we are, Loki, what our content we have completed, 1212 Heroic, our array times and what we're recruiting and the eye level we're recruiting at we want to be mythic rating uh, guys so which is pretty you know it's I'm not 100% sure on the eye levels because I'm not an active raider at the moment I'm just recruiting for um, just hanging out the Shadowlands but um, it's a pretty reasonable eye level uh, to get in so it's nothing super crazy but when you actually you know, start talking. You have to talk to these people. You can go in Guild Finder, right? You can, um, <clears throat> is for leaders and things like that, you can go under applicants and see who has applied. So there's a 407, 434, and there's a warlock and a priest here. Now, they don't make the cut for eye levels. So, but say somebody did and they're like 455. Well, I would go ahead and whisper these people or add them to my friend list and whisper them and talk to them. Okay, that's very important. You need to talk to these people. You can't just say, ooh, shiny eye level. I'm going to invite them automatically. No, do not do that. Absolutely not. You have to have questions ready to ask these individuals. Okay? You need to spend at least 7 to 10 minutes on discussing the goals of the guild and the expectations of the individual. Okay? So <clears throat> that's an extremely important. You got to get to know these guys in at least seven to ten minutes on what you know they want or what they would um, agree on. You know, oh yeah, I'm definitely for that. You gotta you gotta understand. You gotta be on the same page as the people that you're inviting to to your guild. New people, brand new people. So it's very important. Um, other recruitment uh, methods you can use. Go on the forums. WoW forums, people are looking for guilds all the time on WoW forums. Face, uh, Facebook groups. There's uh, groups designated for World of Warcraft in specific that as long as you follow the rules, you're allowed to post. Sometimes you're allowed to post your guild and recruiting for your guild on their forums on their, uh, in the group. Discord servers as well. There's specific Discord servers that you know, allow you to post your guild and advertise and things like that. So you got to go outside a WoW sometimes in order to, uh, you know, continue to advertise your guild. Especially if you're on a dead server, you know. Uh, and I'm on Darkspear, and we've been having some health server issues. But, you know, I, I've been still getting people. And you just got to gotta put in the work, unfortunately. So, <clears throat> and like I said before, you want to have the... Especially if you're rating, you want to have the appropriate eye level. These guys have to have the appropriate eye level and whatnot. So let's get into some red flags uh, when you're recruiting. Some some people have a hard time saying no. Like, oh, somebody's like 470. And, man, he, he definitely put in the work and things like that. But then you talk to him, and he's he or she, they're like, they're very self-centered. They're very selfish. They're not. It doesn't seem like the, there's their interest lies within pro, you know pro, progressing the guild as a team. It's only about themselves. That's a huge red flag. Okay, we well, don't want those types of people in the guild. So because it's not, it's going to be a burden. Yeah, they might be super good, but they might be super toxic as well. And it's going to affect the morale of the guild. So you want to avoid those people, no matter what kind of gear they have. It's not worth it, believe me. Believe me. Some of those people are guild killers. 
So one word answers, right? I got a, I had a guy the other day. Um, I asked him, hey, man, just have a few questions. And I want to know, okay, what's your, um, what's your experience in heroic, um, this, this content here? And how many, and what's your average DPS, or, or I'm sorry, what, I think I phrased it is, do you have any experience in heroic? And if so, how many bosses have you downed? You know, you want, you want to get, get a good outlook of what his experience is, right? His prior experiences. And, uh, his answer was, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah, isn't gonna. It didn't answer. It answered uh, a little bit of my question, but it didn't answer the 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 full question, and that's incredibly annoying. You know what that is? That's laziness. Okay, so I'm going on a little bit of a rant here, but I've been doing this since, like I said, classic. When I created the guild, I, I created the guild in classic, uh, 2005, May 2005, and I have been recruiting ever since. Now, there's been, of course, brief periods of time but i have experience on this and it it frustrate, frustrates me anybody listening to this video it, i'm sure that you understand my frustrations when people just give you one word answers that's a total red flag right there it's not good it's not a good sign and i i'm when i when somebody does that to me my interest goes all the way down to like 10 percent. you know they have to i don't know if they're having a bad day they're just not talkative i don't know but like I said before, another red flag is no prior experience. These guys don't have any, uh, like I'm, I'm picking on raiding because that's what I do. They don't have any, they never killed any raid bosses before in, the, in this patch. You know, not even looking for raid or anything like that. That's not good either. Um, like, and before I said only interested in their self. You know, people who are going to be super selfish. It's like I'm going to steal a line from John F. Kev Kennedy and replace them with guild instead of country. Do not ask what your guild can do for you, but what you can do for your guild. And I think that's important. It, you know your guild is going to help you, bottom line. They're going to help you do content, okay? No no guild is going to be like, invite you to guild, and they're like, hey, raid lead for us, or you know, do all, all the strategies. That's never happened. Very rarely has that ever happened in the history of a guild where they invite a brand new person and they just want that brand new person to do everything for them. So you get what I'm saying. So that's I think that's most of the red flags that I have encountered, that when people react a certain way to my questions or they're just very selfish or one word or no prior experience, it's, it's a no for me. It's a no for me, dog. Anyway... What about some green flags? I like to end on a positive, positive note on green flag flags. <laughs> positive people. People who are just, they're ready to go, they're motivated, and hey, you know what? 455 is our requirement, right, for our R level? Guess what? If the guy's 451, 452, I'm going to talk to him. I'll talk to him. I'll be like, yo, what's going on? Even 450, I'll talk to him. Like, you know, prove it. Prove to me your your personality, your mentality is going to be better than our um, eye level requirement. So motivation to do better, to improve upon oneself, whether they're doing mythic pluses on their own or, or trying to do normal rating to get their gear up, that it speaks volumes to me. And you, you're already on my, my good list. You're already on a positive list that even though you don't exactly make the requirement, I want this guy on my team because I know that he's willing to help me and I'm willing, I'm going to go right back and help him. And we're going to gear this guy up and he's going to be a, a good part of the team. So another, actually I want to retract back to uh, Red Flags, you know, since a lot of people are raiding or even they're PVP and you have certain times of PVP. If they can't make your, uh, you know, your schedule, or they can only, they can only be there for like, uh, less than thirty percent of the time. Th th like, what's the point? Like, we, you want somebody who's consistently there, right? I mean, everybody has jobs and kids and things like that, but you gotta be have, you gotta be having some consistency here. And uh, I'm gonna get back to that in a second. Um, another positive, a lot of more green flags. Answers all your con your questions completely. So instead of yeah, be like 
yes, I have completed so-and-so bosses in heroic and, you know, even adding more, like, and my average DPS on the, in that raid is 50, 60K, you know, average. Like, they're giving me more than I asked them for, which is great. The more informative they can be, the better chances that that's the right person for your guild. Especially when they, instead of, yeah, you ask your questions, and then it's like, they ask you questions about the guild. And that's, wow, that's great. You know, these guys actually care about what we're doing and, you know, how we're doing it. And, uh, of course, now if they don't ask you questions, that's that's not a problem either. But you should be able to be like, hey, do you have any questions for me, the recruiter, about anything to give? Because they're just excited, you know, to talk about, you know, what they, you know, you know, what they have to offer to the guild. And you got to respect them and be like, well, what kind of questions do you have for the guild, if any? So that's an important question to ask as well. So and then I, I'm going back to the the final note I want to want to do is the attendance for your raids or your activities for whatever the guild does. I personally, you got to make at least 70 70 percent plus attendance, and that's a that's a little bit maybe high, but um, I think I think if you want, yeah, like I said, if you want the right people, if you want consistency, I throw that number out, and if they say yes, you know you're, you know, and they're confident enough in their schedule that they can make your two three raids or your activities, whatever you're doing, a week. For a couple hours, you know, a day, two, three hours a day, you know, that's that's a huge, a huge green flag. That's somebody you want because you know they're going to be there, or you would hope so. So, I really hope <laughs> to end this video. Like I said, I've been doing it for a long time. I really hope this has given you guys some insight on on the whole recruitment scene. Some some of you guys watching this maybe have never recruited before, never had the need to recruit. But it, it is a, like a very small part-time job, you know, um, to be able to get the, take your time on recruitment and getting the right and correct active people in part of your establishment, whatever, in any game really. Uh, but in, more specifically, WoW is, is your guild and you want, you want to be, you want to be good. You want to have good people. And and their personalities need to be pretty pretty mild and pretty decent. So, and I'm gonna leave it at that. If if you guys would like me to expand on anything or have any issues, like have any situations that you encounter that maybe ah, should I recruit this guy or not recruit this guy, and you would just want even if you want to just share a story of a bad recruitment story down in the comments below. I'm, I'd definitely like to hear it because I, I, I have a few more of my own I like to share, but I don't want to make this video super duper long. Um, but <clears throat> all right, well, I'm going to leave it off there, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.